The Open Championship 2006, played over the Royal Liverpool Golf Club's ancient links at Hoylake on Merseyside. In a summer of drought conditions, the course was set up for a week in which the world's best golfers challenged it. A quarter of a million spectators and officials trampled over it. Countless buggies drove across it. Massive scaffolding and terraced seating was built on it. The huge tented village, hospitality marquees, administrative offices and public services sprawled over it. And yet it met the challenge, to be acclaimed as an outstanding course by everyone involved, thanks to best practice management, which required hardly any fairway watering and a minimum of fertilisers and pesticides. A mere two months afterwards, look at the state of a course which you might expect to have been damaged to the point of being unplayable. In fact, its recovery was remarkable, and a tribute to the preparation and management by the head greenkeeper and his team who followed the precepts of best practice for a sustainable course. We knew that we had to create a fast, hard-running links golf course. For me, this year's Open, was maybe an extreme circumstance for most Lynx golf courses out there to see the golf course being so so brown, um, brown to the stage of it was almost white. Um, but hey, you you look now. I think sustainability is there. The, the patches of fescue we have here have recovered very well, and yes, there is areas of rye grass that's it's came back just as well again. And it just goes to show that it doesn't need fertilizer. There's been no fertilizer put on this place post-open, pre-open, there was very little put on anyway. Um, and for, for a golf course like this, to have so, so little input, and then to have the open that's hard, you come back nine weeks later, and the place is as green as any parkland golf course will be at this moment in time. In the 12 months running up to the open, a total of only £10,000 was spent on fertiliser, pesticides, top dressing, and water for the greens. In the year before the Open, the irrigation system was used on only 20 days. During the Open, the only water applied to the golf course was evening syringing to greens. Throughout 2006, only 20 kilos per hectare of nitrogen was used, significantly less than on many courses. Now that the Royal Liverpool course is back to normal, how are the regular playing members benefiting from Craig's best practice management? Well, I mean, for many years, the, the golfing public have demanded that the golf courses should be lush and green. But during the Open, we had uh, the weather that meant the golf course was returned to its very much its natural form. And from the comments that were made by a lot of the players and subsequently through the visitors that have come to, to Royal Liverpool, there's definitely a consensus that that's the way they want to play golf uh, and certainly on a course like Royal Liverpool which is a classic Lynx golf course when the ground is running and the fairways are golden and the, the, the putting surfaces are still very true they might not be green but they're still putting extremely well it creates the requirement for imagination which is very much how golf originated on the, the you know the rough terrain from the links course, golf courses in the back of the, the, the 19th century and so therefore when um, golfers come to Hoylake they're using all the golf clubs in their bag they're not just using the lob wedge to lob it onto the green and stop it they're having to think about the game of golf and certainly from our perspective um, it will be a direction that we will be looking to go to create much more of a natural terrain but still trying to provide the golfer with the demands of a, a difficult golf course and the surface is still being smooth. We don't want to have barren fairways, we don't want to have bumpy greens but we'll have very natural golf. I think the first thing that golfers have to do now is come and play golf courses like Royal Liverpool 
and see for themselves how natural golf courses laid out in the way that we do here can be so enjoyable. It doesn't have to be green striped fairways. It doesn't have to be the ball towering and making big plug marks in the green. They can get a huge amount of enjoyment and discover a different side to golf that has to a great extent been lost over the years. The combination of dry summer weather and course management designed to produce firm running conditions for golf provided a true test for the world's best players at the Open. This and the subsequent rapid recovery of the turf is an excellent example of sustainability. Royal Liverpool is a Lynx setting. But the sustainable approach is available to everyone, and you can find out more about this by visiting the R&A Best Practice website, www.bestcourseforgolf.org.